Okay, I'm going to Hey guys, this is Fruitsy Sama. Today we will be reacting to Void Fire Paradox, which itself is missing parts. So, yep. And it's actually so early in the morning, so this reaction video. So, yeah. Let's get started though. Laura, so Lila, do it now. What the fuck? Close one. What did you do, Polly? Probably some second rate dimensional rip. I heard that. That's some thank you for saving your crazy butt. Where's Laura? Polly, though? You're okay. Is Tommy? He's fine. That pocket universe will hold in whatever comes out of the portal should hold whatever comes out of the portal. You don't even know what that is, do you? I know when something requires me to activate the failsafe, that's for sure. <sighs> you said that was a pocket dimension? Since when did you have the tech or know-how how to make one of these? It's not like you're the only one with a brain around here. Pocket dimensions are trivial science, you dimwit. <laughs> If the world wasn't in absolute danger, then I'd be waist deep in plagiarism accusations. But as it stands, we have far more pressing issues on our plate. I'm going to take that as a truce. Now come upstairs. I have a feeling you're just dying to tell us what in the quirk that cosmic sludge was. Yeah, I know. She's right. We need to talk through all this. I'm a bit concerned. Where is Lawrence? Knows, it knows this world now. It's entangled. Quantum millisecond versus universal gigabyte pressure and thermal viscousness. Waited with the void compression monitor. Hey, old man. It sure sounds like you've got your fair share oh, of problems good. going on over there, but some of us are still freaking out about almost getting caught by whatever that was. Plus the flux discombobulation. Then, 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 then. You, you. Me? Yes, you, you. Who are you again? Better question, where are you from? I am Lawrence of Phoenix Drop, formerly Metelli, and the personal guard of Lady Avmel. But not this Avmel, apparently. Yep. This is Lawrence. He's not from here. Obviously. <sighs> from a world like this, but not this world. Lost, but not a dimensional traveler. No void burns either. I guess that's one way to summarize the last few days of my life. Hmm. And has this been a frequent occurrence in this world too? Oddities like this, misfit travelers, generalized high strangeness? There have been sightings of strangers wandering into towns, acting at least odd, at worst violent. From what I can tell, they share similar traits with a void-burned figure Lawrence fought off in the woods. So it's already here then. Or rather, it's already started. What's coming? It's a lot to go over. Well, can you give us the two-sentence summary? I've got experiments I'm running this afternoon, and I'd like to know if my day is ruined or not. If we're not careful, there soon may not be a stable world to experiment upon. What? What do you mean by that? Mozilla, please explain yourself. Slowly. My research, my life as a scientist, ended once I returned to my old dimension. At first, my former work seemed almost trivial. I returned to Polly, my Polly, and together we embraced and rekindled our love. And I fell into the bliss I of happily ever after. I told you this there, remember? We were actually trying to have a child when... Ugh, all right, all right! Speed it up! More about the destruction and less about that. We built a home together, planned 
done forging our own family, and things seemed right with the universe. And that was when the travelers began to show up. They came slowly at first, more an oddity than a crisis, but then... A warrior, as if a hero chosen by the universe, emerged and began to fight off what was rapidly becoming an invasion. He spoke of far-off nomadic lands. It was clear that he wasn't from this world, yet he held no void burns. The same as your prickly boyfriend here, Afmau. What the fuck? What? But this warrior was not alone in his arrival. I don't know if he brought it with him, or if it was split off from him when he came. But regardless, the warrior had a shadow. An inverse of himself. I tried to study this warrior for what little time I had with him, but he seemed determined to fight off this inverted thing. And so they went to war. What happened? In the end, I'm not sure. The warrior's desire to protect the people of the dimension he found himself in would eventually be his downfall. He sacrificed himself for a single villager, and the inverse struck him down. In an instant, the balance of our world was thrown off. The inverse raised his sword in the air and then fell into the world. A deep, terrible, colorless... Hello, Michael. I have something you might like oh, to say. <laughs> void sprouted out from where he stood. It spread and spread and spread. I reformed my lab began running experiments, started to test any avenue I thought might be able to stop what was happening. Yeah, looks like that really worked out for you. I was forced to refocus my efforts upon a last resort. The idea that I so might be able to help science. the people of my dimension flee to another. <laughs> Using a gateway portal and the power of several dozen towns, I was able to activate a dimensional hop to a neighboring world. You went to another dimension? Back here? Or an entirely new one? A new one. I wish I could tell of it, but when I entered that dimension, there was nothing left to discover. It was colorless, broken, suffering from the same plight my dimension was. And soon, I feared this dimension and many others may fall upon the same fate. How so? We quarantined that little week. Unfortunately, we may be dealing with something larger than a leaking portal. Polly, can I borrow a whiteboard? Oh, my. This is our dimension, bright and beautiful, and swirling around in a big mix of the dimensional universe. Uh, huh. The dimensional universe consists of all these individual dimensions just like ours. And this, this is the dimensional universe about to be swallowed whole by an all-consuming dark void. You'll see that my home has already been compromised. From what I can tell, this is all caused okay. by an imbalance, yep, some good. kind of temporal oh. shift happening somewhere it's out there in the really dimensional good. universe. You see, the void is not some kind of spectral um, entity that craves complete and utter day. destruction. It's simply a clinical oh, force yeah. here to correct the imbalance or anything that might but be in its path to it by using complete and utter destruction, thereby resetting the universe back to its primal state. That's a bit. And what proof do you have of these claims? What academic journal have you published them in? Have they been peer-reviewed? This is no time okay. for scientific bureaucracy. The fate of this dimension is at stake. But can we go to the center and balance and see what's wrong? And maybe fix it? No, 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 my dear young fated for death dimensional warrior. I haven't hopped into any other dimensions for the same reasons you saw come out of that portal. I don't want the void to spread any faster than it already is. Besides, predicting the arrival points for the dimensional gates is an issue in of itself. A gate can only travel to nearby dimensions. Combined with the liminal ripping and compressed paradoxal timing. Okay, okay, I get it. Never mind. Lawrence, okay? You okay? This warrior stuff. Does that mean there's an inverse of me out there? One that I'm going to have to fight? One that's supposed to kill me? Listen, we'll worry about that later. We stop the void for now. Didn't we? For now. Hey, I'm trying to comfort someone over here. <sighs> We'll focus on what's in front of us. 
We'll find the problem and fix it. You really are like her. Huh? Okay, let's roll into action. Polly, Tommy, and Layla shall remain here and reinforce Polly's pocket dimension. I want zero sludge leaks until we figure out how to fix all this. Hey! If you think you can come into my lab and start ordering me around, I'll... I'll... Half mouth. It seems I'll need your ever-present assistance again, my dear. Me, you, and your knight in shining armor are gonna head down to your house and see if we can't locate any trace of this inverse. Right. We'll get to the bottom Shame. of this. <laughs> Let's do it. Huh? 3%. 3%. So, on the off chance we do locate this inverse thing, any chance it's you could tell me dark. what I could be in for? I could you mean anything. if you have to fight? If it comes down to that. Well, well, hmm, let's see. Don't be fooled if it takes on an appearance close to yours. It can't speak, much less feel. I believe inverses are manifestations of the void itself, and they maintain all of their powers, such as teleportation. Teleportation is the big one. Watch out for that. I'll try my best. Have you seen it in action? Only from a distance. I saw it close up exactly once in my laboratory at the very edge of my peripheral vision. But when I turned around, it was gone. That's not terrifying at all. I couldn't even understand. Hold strong, Lady F. I mean, just F, Mel. <laughs> Everything will be all right. Especially with me by your side. Thank you, Lawrence. Newton's ghost! My, my, my house! Oh my god. What the hell? Who is burning Afman's house? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Thank you guys for watching this little reaction, even though I didn't react a little. I mean, just a little. That was crazy. Thank you guys. Anyway, so yeah. Bye.